Hey you guys, what's going on? It's Dirty Mike. Today I'm going to be giving you my top 10 reasons on why you should play Star Wars The Republic. Number 10. Free to play. Being free to play, this gives you enough time to see if you actually like the game, so that you do not have to subscribe just starting out. You can even complete the whole storyline to your class of choice, and it also grants you a level cap of 50, while not having to pay for the game. Number 9. Character Customization Choosing whichever faction, or whichever class, you can choose what gender and customize your body type, head, scars, complexion, eye color, details depending on race, hair, hair color, and skin color to make your character your own. Number 8. Storyline and Leveling Each class has their own unique storyline. Whether you choose Republic or Imperial classes, you feel like you're a part of the story. While doing your missions, you may get the sense of purpose throughout your story. Which in my opinion makes me feel like I have a purpose while playing instead of rushing to max level. Number 7. Expansion. The Rise of the Hutt Cartel. As Karaga the Hutt died, the Hutt Taboro seizes the head of the Hutt Cartel as the new Supreme Magul. He decides to continue Karaga's campaign, but with the planet McKeb as the heart of the new operations. In Galactic Starfighter, you get to choose your own ship to fight against other players, because what's Star Wars without an epic space battle? In Galactic Strongholds, you get to choose from a selection of strongholds to make a home of your own. As the Sith Empire and the Galactic Republic war on, the former hero of the Jedi Civil War comes into play with his army of Revenites with a plan to leave the Republic and the Empire in ashes. In the Knights of the Fallen Empire, which starts after the invasion of Zios, the internal empire of Emperor Vakorian enters the Galactic War. You, after being captured, awake from Carbonite five years later to see the Republic and Empire have fallen Eternal Empire and now take the fight to them as the Outlander. Knights of the Eternal Throne takes place six to eight months later, as you, the Outlander, lead your alliance in a battle against Empress Baylor. Number six, graphics and music. As you swing your lightsaber in combat, you can experience awesome effects and graphics while hearing some of the greatest Star Wars music in the background to make you feel like even you are one with the force. Number 5. Group Content There are many things in Star Wars Zero Republic you and your friends can do, such as my all-time favorite PvP, like war zones and arenas, or you can do things like flashpoints, operations, heroic missions, and newly added uprisings. Number 4. Gameplay In my opinion, the physics of this game play out nicely. Your character's builds are rotational so that you can be effective in your role, whether you're a tank, DPS, or healer. Other than that, the game mechanics are smooth and gives this game a nice feel as you play. Number 3. Fully Voice This is a great feature in this game. Being able to choose voice options as you roll your character. You can make them who you want them to be, whether you're dark side or you fight for the light. The options you choose will also affect your storyline and how the person you're talking to will respond. Notable voice actors for this game are Joe White, who voiced Siri from The Witcher 3, Hawk from Dragon Age 2, and Inquisition, and Allie from Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Kathy Susie, who voiced Phil, Lil, and Betty DeVille from The Rugrats, Lola in Space Jam, Dexter's Mom from Dexter's Laboratory, Hubert Fondworth from Futurama, and many more. Number 2. Exploration. You can explore the entire Star Wars galaxy, from Hut Space to the Seat of the Empire, to the Core Worlds, Unknown Regions, and even the Outer Rim. It features the desert planet of Tatooine, the ice planet of Hoth, and even Alderaan. And the number one reason it's fucking Star Wars! Who doesn't want to play Star Wars and make your own character? That does sound pretty cool. 
This is why I'm telling you, this is a great game. At least if you're a Star Wars fan and you like MMOs, go out and give this thing a try. Because if you don't, I'll find you. But really, this is a great game. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching. Second.